Hey guys, Chair Womack here from the PrepperProject.com. I want to shoot a follow-up video to the one I did earlier on how you can use chickens and Electronet to completely eradicate the pests that might be chewing up your trees. So this is the cherry tree. This is now three or four years old. And uh, last year it was 85% defoliated by a, a cherry tree slug. Some call them a pear tree slug. It's a little tiny, it's a little tiny little slug that just chewed 85% of every one of those leaves off of it. And all I did to fix it is I ran this white netting that you see right here around this area so that my hockey stick here to show you. This all, a whole area where all the baby tree slugs were living, uh, getting ready to hatch in the spring, I ran my chickens over this area for a full month before the tree slugs would normally be born and before they would normally crawl up this tree and start to eat the leaves. I did that a month before they were born. I called the local extension service. They told me when those slugs were born and I, or when they hatch or whatever those things do, how, whatever that word's called, and there is not a one tree slug in this orchard where last year it was infested on these particular trees. A great way to control pests. I highly recommend it. I'll be sharing some more things that you can do with Electronet here in the future, but just for getting rid of pests, it's an awesome tool. So this is again, just going to show you, I'm about to set it up and use it for a different project called Sod Killing. <laughs> Um, as well as, well, you'll see, I, I won't spoil it here in a different video, but this net, you can get it in different sizes. I will include a link below this video, uh, for where you can go pick up this net. It is awesome. It is solar powered and I have, uh, absolutely loved it to death, even, uh, when using it in the Pacific Northwest, the maritime Pacific Northwest, where it's very cloudy, uh, rains a lot. It still powers this thing just fine and... I made it so I didn't have to use some pesticides or even organic solutions. I just had to use chickens. They recommend, uh, they believe neem oil is something else you can spread on the bark of these trees that make it so these larvae don't live or hurts them in some way. I don't know, but I didn't have to use it. And I never will because the chickens do a awesome job with the side effect of fertility versus no negative side effects. So there you go. This is Chet Womack from theprepperproject.com signing off. If you'd like to pick up some of this net and try it on your own orchard, there's some links below this video where you can find the stuff that I used. Have a good one.